What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. Guys, welcome welcome to a new episode. Look welcome. at this fucking amazing new set we have look at it look at this amazing new camera we have look at it's it it's super sharp it looks great right it looks you beautiful. feel good yeah i feel great i feel great too yeah well don't get used to it yeah because in typical tmg fashion um we not only left it out of we left the autofocus on we already recorded the episode yeah this we, is after we left the autofocus on um as we are, i've always done mm-hmm um, so the focus is terrible. And then um, I stupidly confused the camera, like sort of overlay with what was on our external recorder. And so the entire podcast has the overlay of the camera <laughs> printed over it. And rather than punch in and try to fix it, we're just going to take this L. We're just going to take the L because we got to learn somehow. And, you know, we don't want to bore you too much with the details. You'll just see. Yeah, you'll just see. <laughs> you'll see, but the, I, the only thing the, I have to say about that is unfucking believable. <laughs> but this looks good right now, though. Yeah, right? it looks great. This right looks now. great. You would agree? Yeah, yeah, this looks cool. New set. Super pumped on it. Well, yeah. Well, future we done, episodes we, <laughs> will look this good, but the, we done fucked it up. Unbelievable. You know what? You know what this episode should be video editing one hundred and one. How about that? <laughs> video production one hundred and one. Uh, classic classic well enjoy anyways yeah see ya welcome to episode 101 101 we're gonna teach you all about busting it down and then some yep yeah i don't sorry i was trying to think of a tmg 101 what should this be this should be some kind of class meet 101 how to beat it i like that um i don't know kyle you got any ideas no. everybody <laughs> no <laughs> Kyle, you can crouch down in the frame just however you want to do it. Everybody, meet Kyle. If you're watching the video, you can see him. I want to introduce you. This is Kyle. This is, yeah. This is our new um, production assistant. He's, uh, he's helping with everything. He built this actually by hand, the yeah, brand new set. Everything. <laughs> everything. He colored this. Mm-hmm. Um, took him how long? 10 hours. 10 hours of yeah. just straight coloring. Yeah. Brandon, the guy who does our merch and that had nothing to do with this image nothing at all. to do with it i know it, you would think he would have done something here but he did nothing at all yeah um kyle definitely didn't make this he, he didn't make the shorty this award. is our shorty award for best podcast sorry how did that get up there <laughs> what <laughs> that old thing how did that get up there you look like fucking assholes right now <laughs> i know what he mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh thank you um to kyle for will he joined the show and now he's willing to work with us so thank you kyle for that yeah, um, we're yeah we're just we're making you know we're making strides towards becoming better as a as a podcast and as a content um factory. Yeah. Oh god. That's the, well, that's the goal eventually is to is to be a factory just pumping out mediocre content all day. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just pumping Six out, out ten garbage you every know? day, but like a lot of it. Yeah. And every that's day. the goal. Every minute of the day. Yeah. Um, you feel that heat? You feel that heat settling? It's already so yeah. fucking hot. On that note, I think Kyle, yeah, maybe yeah, head over to the Home Depot. <laughs> yeah, thanks, brother. Um, yeah, that's Kyle. He's um, he's our new guy. He'll be making sure all the things that we want to do with the Patreon happen, um, and various other things. So. Yes, things are going to get done now, as yeah. as you can see by our yeah. brand new set here. Thanks to uh, Marie Marchant, yes, for uh, this beautiful set. Did an excellent job. Um, we still got some tweaks and stuff like loose cables and all that but um you know it looks fucking cool we got a new camera we did so we're super sharp 8k actually this yeah. is so if you want to blow it up in in like a, a stadium or something like that you can do that you know um it's 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 a little more than 18k what do you mean than 8k it's 24k it's 24 karat 24 karat gold yeah, yeah. really this is a bruno cut i was talking about the resolution but this is that's that's made yeah. out of twenty four karat gold. Yeah. So you you sprung for like the the material that the camera is made out of, mm-hmm. other like instead of the resolution. Yeah. Right. I I agree with that. The video is actually in ten eighty. So it's just regular <laughs> HD. Or not seven twenty. Yeah. 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 Well, we actually had to had to take a hit on the resolution <laughs> in order to pay for this the twenty four karat solid gold camera. It, it was it was tough. You guys can't see, but it's a bust down camera. Yeah. Brand new. <laughs> we got that for you. Yeah. For you guys. 
Um, thank you, Nima, for helping with this. Just feels like a, a long Grammy speech. Yeah, exactly. In a thank, sauna. Yeah. Thank you, all the people you don't know and don't give a fuck about for um, yeah. helping the podcast. No, and, you know, thank you, God. Yeah, the big man upstairs mm -hmm. uh, for blessing us with this long of a career because it definitely, by our, by our prediction, was not supposed to go this long. True. Why am I stuttering so much today? Um, I don't know. Did you do Molly? Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing better than a Molly cast. <laughs> Just licking them. It's like, man, we need some fucking. It's too quiet in here. <sighs> we need more. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> see, I don't have to do Molly. That's just all what it. The, the, <laughs> it's just brushing your whole face with a microphone. That's all it is. <laughs> We're just chugging water the whole yeah. time. <laughs> also, this wasn't Kyle. This no, this was, was Brandon. This was Brandon. I don't know Brandon, if you can tell. This thing is amazing. We have to do like a separate video for Patreon where we actually like look at the whole thing. Yeah, maybe um, we'll do like a, a a set tour. Yeah. You know what's actually really funny about this wall is <laughs> if we funny. if we were normal size, this would be a, a great wall. But because we're mini size, you can't see the whole wall. Yeah, I know. This just makes us seem really small. That's true. We're at the bottom of the fucking shelf. That's true. In the kitchen. That is kind of funny. <laughs> it, I was kind of wondering that. Like, there's a shelf. There's a, one even up there that you yeah. can't even see. Yeah. And up there is our... That's um, where our big daddy comes to reach for it. Our big, our big, big boyfriend <laughs> gets our things off the top shelf for us. Because when Kyle little... walks in, he's th like that tall. <laughs> yeah. He actually is. We're just up to his waist. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle is tall as shit, man. Yeah, he is. Like six, seven. We should fire him. Yeah, for being tall. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of aggression in that one. <laughs> yeah, we should fucking fire him. I was just gonna say, up there is our most, our most uh, proud award, probably. Oh yeah, the honorary Webby That's award. That's the yeah, the Webby award we got for honoree or on, on, what honorary. even is that? That's um, someone here told us about you, <laughs> and but we're no one gives a shit. We're letting people know that you're a thing. Yeah, yeah. No, they didn't even because we're not like it's oh, not. No, a, 2019 official honoree. Yeah. But it wasn't even like put in on their website. Mazad <laughs> told us about it, and I was like, "Wait, really?" And I went to Google it, and I found it nowhere. So, so we just what we just got a plaque. Or it's not even a plaque. It's a it's piece like, of paper in a frame. You can't reach that. Don't even pretend you can reach that. Yeah, <laughs> I put it up there. <laughs> but you can't get it down. I don't want you to see my shitty back hair. You know. Yeah. If I reach up and my the werewolf shirt comes, comes off a little bit, <laughs> see some crack. Yeah. Ooh, a little show. It's not that kind of Patreon. No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> That's when it starts going sideways. <laughs> uh, we noticed a dip in the community, so Cody and I want to introduce uh, mud play. Um, we're just gonna we're doing porn now. Yeah. So shocker porn. <laughs> we're gonna put this whole bowling ball in Kyle's ass. Man, this feels so fucking official now. I know. It watches everyone fucking hate it. I had like they're a, like, what happened to the LP Tech Shields? I had like a a scary thought after looking at all this. Like <laughs> maybe it's it's too. Are good. we doing too much? It's too professional. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. No, this is sick. No, I think it's a good time to upgrade. This is sick. Two and, years into it, yeah, we finally got a set, and we did it all ourselves. Yeah, all you ourselves. Know, with, well, we did all the emailing. Yeah, <laughs> all to our, do it all ourselves. All ourselves with the planning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, uh. The big big shout out to Marie. She put in um a, a good couple long days to put this together, and um you know it was just, it's it's what kind of books do we got up here? Uh, some shit that Spock bought. They're all Spock's books. Devils, demons, and witchcraft. Cool. Yeah. That's good. Awesome. <laughs> that's that's awesome. Yeah, I'm, you guys. Get, I'm getting fucking cursed right now, even by sitting next to that. You guys didn't know Spock's Wiccan. <laughs> <laughs> he, he practices Wicca. That's why he is his long fucking hair. Man, a lot of shit. Fuck them books. So much shit has happened this week. What's happened? What's, What's going happened? On? Our boy is testifying right now. I know. Have you been reading? Have you been following yeah. a little bit? Uh, hats off to that dude. What is his account? I bookmarked it. Um, he's he's live tweeting all of the Takashi stuff. <laughs> and he's just like some... Just some dude in <laughs> New York. Just like Local reporter. Yeah. You know, I always like... I always looked at like local news stations. I'm like, why does any of this shit matter? And then I saw that. I'm like... That's why that matters. What do you mean? Uh, a dude sitting at the fucking in the courtroom, like live tweeting about Takashi. No one else would do that. Like a local, only a local reporter could do that. 
You think so? It's like knowing the ins and outs of like, oh yeah, you know, I know Jerry down at the courthouse. He'll get me in a couple hours ahead of the, you know, the big press. Yeah, but this is, I feel like this is a pretty big case. Like it's, it automatically comes with exposure to your Twitter account or whatever. I feel like people would want to be there in the room. Like why is he the only one that's doing that? I mean, uh, inner city I don't press, know the fucking shit inner city press. That's, that's the guy. I mean, yes, but I feel like. It's like, you know, when, when, uh, it's like when the big corporations touch down to the small city, mm -hmm. the small city of New York, of New York. Yeah. They're like, we're going to do this story. And then the local guy's like, nah, man, not in my town. <laughs> you don't know David down there at the, at the, at the courthouse. He yeah. won't let you in. This is out of your jurisdiction. Yeah. Get out of here. This is a local, this is a local job. Yeah. This is a towny thing. Why don't you get the fuck up out of here? Get the fuck out of here. With your fucking Plus I'm gay. <laughs> With your big fucking press suit. <laughs> With your big old muscles wrapped up in that beautiful, in the beautiful, uh, in that beautiful linen. I'd like, yeah. With your big fucking muscles wrapped in that beautiful Macy's linen. Why don't you get the fuck big out of here? Beautiful biceps. I'd like to kiss them. Why don't you let a big bear, big old gay fucking man, cover this <laughs> rainbow story? This is a story for a big fucking gay man. <laughs> we don't need your fucking little clean cut straight. House on the prairie looking fucking ass coming titty in. Titty sucking ass. Titty fucking. What you? Titty fucking, titty sucking. Little fucking baby. You can't cover a case like this. You're not a real man because you ain't put a dick in your mouth yet. Yeah, you still sucking titties like a small child. I'm over here doing the real hard work. The work of a gay man. Yeah, pun intended. Yeah. Put in a put in big put in big hard work in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till I meet like one of my like rap idols. Like I'm gonna like meet Conway and then mm -hmm. someone's gonna like clip this and mm -hmm. like like, oh you met Noah? Oh, I listened to his podcast and they'll put this clip and he's gonna be like <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> what? I remember fucking yesterday night. I I was doing a. Uh, We're just I not going to talk like, about the No, we thing. will. We will. No, just like this no we shouldn't. We should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we got yelled at by someone <laughs> in the comments. Like, just stop. Fuck. Just, just stay on the topic. <laughs> what we did? Yeah, some, we've gotten way fucking better at that. That's something that we definitely have gotten better at since the first episode. That's true. Is not going down weird tangents and like yeah. staying on topic, right? Yeah. Actually, no, I think it was the inverse. I think someone yelled at us for not moving on. Mm. Yeah. I got a new Keurig machine the other day. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Just parody ourselves. That's crazy. <laughs> you know who died using a Keurig? That's, that's my fucking take. Yeah, exactly. It, nailing someone Some who dark died. As fuck, yeah. yeah. Um, no, I was doing this Q&A and during the... Uh, like a Q&A was like a moderated thing. Like someone was sitting right here asking me questions on stage. This is at Sacred Heart University in Got Connecticut. It. And uh, the role the, play as the guy? At the end, yeah, you could if you want to. So when did you know that you were a big fucking gay man? <laughs> That's exactly how it went, actually. <laughs> I said, I knew since birth. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I popped out of my mom's vag, I said, gross. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh, get me out of that thing. I don't like vaginas at all. You know what the doctor said when I came out of my mom's puss puss? What'd she say? He said I had my eyes closed and I was just going, yucky. Ew, ew, ew. ew. I was crying because it smelled. Ugh. <laughs> anyway, what happened? <laughs> so at the end, they did like audience questions and this kid and his twin come down at the same time. And I was like, you guys got to ask the question at the, at the exact same time, like just both in the mic. <laughs> And and one of them said uh, he was like he was like our, our favorite bit from the podcast is the I'm fucking gay bit. So would you mind saying for me? And I was like, oh my god, if you ask me to say I'm fucking gay in front of a crowd of seven hundred people, while the chick who organized the whole thing, yeah, is like the nicest lady in the world, yeah, doesn't even really know what she got herself into. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't even ask her if I could cuss because I was like, like I forgot, and so yeah. I'm up there cussing, and I'm like, I hope this is okay. I'm already in a weird position. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And the kid was like, and then he said, uh, I forget what he said, but it was like, it was like, get these boobs out of my mouth or something like that. Okay, like, All right, okay. cool, cool, cool. So then I said that loud and proud. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get these fucking boobs out of my get face. Get these boobs out of my mouth. Gross. Yeah. I'll be down at the University of uh, Cincinnati. Okay, cool. So yeah, I don't know what well, the vibe is going to be like. It's kind of funny because they like, I think they book it as like the giant thing behind a set of lecture series on it. Uh, so I was like. Man, be hard as fuck if I came out right now and just gave a lecture. Yeah, hard ass lecture, but okay. about nothing related to comedy. Yeah, about like yeah, Keurig machines or no, something like no, that. No, you just go there. So, prototyping. Yeah, um, we do a lot of it in the industry. 
<laughs> but there's a fundamental flaw with prototyping at the code level. And we're going to talk today uh, not only about memory management, um, but future memory <laughs> management and how um, in the coming years you can plan to prototype uh, in half the time that you do now. <laughs> People are just like, Sugar Gay! <laughs> Shh, not the time for this, yeah. right? So, let's go ahead and open up Xcode. <laughs> <laughs> One program in the audience. Well, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, you can call the project whatever you want. Um, <laughs> and uh, let's start with just a, just a very typical list view, and we'll go from here. Take out your... Texas Instrument calculators, please. <laughs> there will be and a little now, bit of math involved. And there will be a little bit of math involved. Now, what I want you to do is type in 58008. Now, go ahead and turn the calculator upside down. What does that read? Boobs. Exactly. Thank you. That concludes my lecture. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, Thanks. That's just a little aside. Oh, let's go ahead. So, F of X. Um, let's start to plug it in. <laughs> So is the is the vibe cool? Yeah, it was cool. You know the vibes. Yeah, you know the vibes. That's what I'm gonna say when I get up there. Mm -hmm. And lecture hall, you know, you know the, vibes. the vibes. You know the vibes. Everybody go to sleep right now. You know the vibe. <laughs> no, it was really cool. It's, it's cool, man. It's it's fucking cool that 700 kids from one college showed up to just you know watch me chat with a, with a, with a, another guy. Yeah, but it was it was it was fun. I'm I like I like doing those things. Honestly, I'm fully expecting 14 people. <laughs> I'm expecting to be dead ass empty. <laughs> No, it won't be. It's fun. It's we'll a lot see. of fun. Wait, where, where, when are you going to Cincinnati? October first. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Where the? How far? How far away is Cincinnati? Bro, that's like it's like Ohio. It's like yeah, East Coast basically. Damn. It's gonna be a long ass flight. Yeah. Speaking of airlines, uh, let's let's keep talking stupid. about stupid, <laughs> stupid, stupid. Let's talk about them. Um. Yeah. You know, I don't. So think do you have like did. a favorite quote or anything from the whole thing? Because I read a bunch, bro. I don't really remember any of them. The, like, what's funny to me is he talks on the stand the same way he talks yeah. in real life. Yeah. Like, you think he'd lower his lawyer would be like, hey, clean it up a little bit, you know? No. Not no. as much, like, gang-related slang and stuff like that. But he's the, he talks exactly the same way. One of the, one of the best quotes so far is, uh, you said ponda. I don't know what ponda means. I don't know what that word means. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Um, did you watch the video of him getting kidnapped? I didn't, no. That was that was some cold shit. Really? I mean not cold per se, but it's a it's a weird scenario. I loaded up the video and then I saw it was DJ Academics and I was like, I don't want to support him and I quit out of it. <laughs> yeah. Um DJ Academics. Yeah. Yeah, no, he, so he was in a car with a driver. Um it was a I think I think it it was an Uber or like a car service. And the dude's name is uh Jorge Rivera or George Rivera, whatever. Um, he was driving Takashi, and I don't want to fuck this up. I might fuck this up, but to my understanding, a car rear ended him, and the driver of the car service, George, he looks at Takashi and he says, Don't get out of the car. He's like encouraging him. He's like, It doesn't fucking matter. Um, you are who you are. We're not in a good area. Um, you're kind of high profile right now. Uh, just don't worry about it. And then Shoddy and the other dudes like run up on the car and like they open the door and they're like, give me everything. Give me everything. Get the fuck out the car. Give me everything. And they're yelling at him and, and Takashi's like weirdly like he's weirdly calm while pleading with them. And he's just like he's talking to this dude Harv. He's like, yo Harv, I, I never did you wrong. I never did you wrong. I, I wanted to talk to you. I, I tried calling you. He's like, then why you ain't call me? He's like, I tried but you got a new number and like da da da. But He's not like, he's not like his voice isn't like shaking, shaking, but he's like definitely, you know. Wait, I don't understand. I don't understand who's kidnapping who. Shoddy, his manager, and some other dudes were like basically yanking Takashi out the car. Oh, and this was like recent? That, yeah. You don't remember that whole thing when he got kidnapped, like right before his album dropped and he was like, yo, they kidnapped me. <laughs> you don't remember that? No. <laughs> yeah. Damn. And then like, then Getting like. Kidnapped by your own manager. Yeah. And then like they, I forget. I believe Shoddy was there, or maybe he wasn't. Just go watch the video, whatever. And apparently, like, they were filming him while they were kidnapping him, saying, like, I'm not Billy. And I think that was, like, something related to, like, you know, 
nine tray bloods and like basically saying like he's not down. Okay. Um, and so like they like say to the driver like we're just gonna talk to him we're just gonna take and they put him in a car and the dude George like watches them drive off and I think he tried to tail him for a bit and while doing this he's like he's uh, on OnStar and he's like calling OnStar to like try to find a cop and he's like doing circles and he finds like a, a, a local cop and then uh, he like tells him what's going on and you know that's kind of like where I tapped out on the video um but the whole situation is interesting because the part that I completely missed was that Jim Jones is part of nine tra- like Treyway. Yeah. And like I forgot that he was the one like on that previous recording saying like oh we should figure out how we going to violate him. And so like Takashi was on the stand and they're like Jim Jones like you know who is he? He's like oh he's like a like you know re- uh rapper like veteran rapper and he's like is he part of the nine trade blood? He's like yes. <laughs> <laughs> just snitching on everybody everybody yeah and, and you and, did the same thing with trippy red too yeah you like try to bring trippy red into yeah. it and he's just like it, it's funny like like he's just saying way too much <laughs> he was saying something he said some shit that wasn't even related to the case at all yeah he snitched on himself for some like other random shit yeah that like isn't even yeah it's so funny he's just saying everything he's just yeah. saying as much as he can just being like i'll tell i'll tell anything <sighs> I mean, bro, I'm, it's, it's, I think, you know, now everyone's posting these videos of him, like talking shit and, you know, their videos like with him, shoddy and like other people. And I don't know, man, you just like, it, it's pretty surreal to like see all these videos of him, like being like, oh yeah, 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 I'm finna do shit to me and da 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 And it's like him and like whoever else is in the video, it's like four of them are going to fucking jail. Yeah. You know? And they were all like sort of getting money together. And like now, like you, it's, I, I was watching some video of him, like calling out to like, you know, Chief Keefe and Lil Reese and stuff. And, uh, a Cuban doll was like sitting next to him. Okay. And like, right when he's like, so it's fuck Chief Keefe. Fuck oh Lil yeah, Reese. I saw that. Yeah, and she's, she's like, like, oh, yeah, she, yeah, she pops dipping. out the frame. Yeah. She's like, yeah, I'm not with that. <laughs> but now I like, I was watching that video and I was like reading, I was reading into the vibe a little bit. Okay. I was peeping the vibe. Because you know the vibes. Yeah, you know the vibe. Okay, you know the vibes, yeah. No, but honestly, I was looking at everyone in the background and their facial expressions, now I read them as like, like they're just letting him go. Mm -hmm. But it's like none of them are really in agreement with what he's saying. Yeah. Like they all kind of, it's it now to me it reads like they all know that he's a clown and they're just letting him talk that way for the sake of money. Yeah. And- but I feel like previously, yeah, it's like everyone, yeah, but I mean, around like you know the Paul brothers and <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I feel like it's one of those things where, like early on, if if nobody, like like if you're caught up in the hype and like you're just so focused on him, like you would have never, you wouldn't think twice about that video or like you wouldn't read into the emotions of the other people in the scene, like you just don't care. Okay. Like I, I, I don't know. I just I feel like now all this shit is being unearthed and then. It's kind of been like maybe under our nose the whole time kind of thing. So I think that's what makes those videos surreal to me. Mm-hmm. It's like you go back and watch it and you're like, oh shit, they never actually liked him. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like- They were just using him. Yeah. But in the moment, you don't read into that. Like yeah. You don't even see that. But it, it's funny that it works for him, right? Mm-hmm. Like that's his whole thing is he they were just using him. That's yeah. his whole like case, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it, it's going to be, it'll be interesting to see how it pans out. Yeah. We'll see how it pans out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There. Just wanted to say pans out again. I got it. Yeah. yeah. I fucking. We'll see how it pans out, though. Yeah, we will definitely see how it pans out. <laughs> no, I, I, I think it's I the whole thing is wild. He's gonna get out of jail for sure. Maybe. He's gonna get out, and he's gonna just. And my, then what? No, my main takeaway was everyone now, the general public, saw that kidnapping video. That's the best thing that could have happened to him. Really? Because now the general public is saying like, "Oh man." Y'all don't know what you would have done in that situation. Like, y'all, of course you would have. Yeah, y'all saying snitched. don't snitch. Look at the way they're treating him. They're kidnapping him. They're robbing him. Dude, he's going to get the middle 30% sympathy. He's going to be able to drop a record. No problem. Oh, yeah, for sure. He will come right the fuck back. Yeah. And he won't be he won't be rapping about Treyway and all that. Yeah. He'll go move to. Plus, he's got the whole like reggaeton angle. Like, yeah. they don't give a shit about gang like affiliations in the States, do they? I mean,. I, I don't know. I'm I'm not gonna speak on whether or not I don't think, you know. Like that's a whole genre of music that I I don't well, maybe I don't know shit about that, but like I don't know. I just feel like that's about like just partying and having a good time, but maybe not. I mean, you know, there's 
Uh, like, you think he's, like, still talking about, like, Trey, Trey Way when he's, like, doing Spanish shit? I mean, no. But he could talk about whatever. I think more than anything, Takashi has, like, his sound. And I think he'll just be able to talk about, like, fucking bitches and getting money. And yeah. The rap community will be like, ah, you're a snitch. You're, like, you're a rat. Like, this and that. But, but the general public, like, don't care about that shit. No, I, th- I think the the average 30% person will just be like, oh, man, it's whatever. Yeah. Little kids will... He went to jail? What? Yeah. Little kids will ride for him. They'll yeah. be like, yeah. They'll be like, yeah, we like Takashi. And you know what? And they're going to say... You know, fuck whoever. Yeah. I'm a snitch too. Yeah. <laughs> Just it like backfires. Like all these people <laughs> yeah. being like, snitch is cool. <laughs> I want to snitch. Everyone's snitching on each other for just just shit they maybe even didn't do. Yeah. Just going to the cops. Yeah. Snitching on just your friend. For every, fuck, yeah. yeah. My friend stole something from 7-Eleven just now. I yeah, saw him. He took a 30 brick. Yeah. He's a he's a you should keep an eye out for him. <laughs> it's crazy. The fucking the one of the moms who I don't even know her dumb fucking name who was in the whole college scandal thing. Mm-hmm. She huh. got a two week sentence, bro. <laughs> I mean, that's just that's just the legal system. What you mean? I mean, well, how long do you think she should have been in jail? Dude, for all that fucking fraud, at least a year. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That is true. And, and it's probably like some high, like some luxury prison. That's what she's requesting. Is it really? Yeah. And you know what I was thinking she's going to do? Two weeks in prison? What the fuck does that teach you? Nothing. Two weeks? Nothing. Fucking ASAP Rocky was in prison for longer than that shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and he got his shit dismissed. Or no, whatever. No, it was like, it was like. Felony assault, but like. It was a, like retroactively applied. Like, Oh, I see. Yeah. So it's like he did his time, but he, he was found guilty. Okay. But bro, he, he, yeah, two weeks, bro. System is fucking stupid. No, a, <laughs> you know what she's gonna do? Two weeks. She's gonna go. It's gonna feel like what? Go, no, go ahead. She she feels she feels what? She's gonna get like let out, and she's like, oh, what? It just started. <laughs> her. I feel like I just got here. Her and Full House mom, and they're all. They're gonna document it, and they're gonna sell that shit to Netflix. Yeah. And they're gonna cash the fuck out. Yep. It's gonna be a bad, bad motherfucking lesson, mm-hmm. and then. What what's her daughter's name? Um, Goof, Goof, Olivia. Olivia Goofy Mick. I don't want to really go mm-hmm, to school. Mm-hmm. She'll get a fucking deal out of it. Yep. Uh, and then she'll use that money to do some other for more fraud to get yeah. her, you know, dogs into a good fucking yeah, whatever dog school that other and that shit'll just yeah hand over fist just yeah. keep turning yeah. and turning privilege man. That shit I could not believe that I said two weeks I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just got to know you guys and now I'm leaving. Oh, <laughs> so she's- there's a fool with a fucking like a two year sentence where for having a fucking eighth of weed on him in like <laughs> oh, yeah. Ohio. And he's like, fuck, are you, you fucking yeah. kidding me? Yeah. He's like, I'm not even a bad person. Yeah. I just have anxiety mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm, go- I'm here for years. <laughs> this bitch like, f- like did fraud, like fraud. <laughs> Uh, lied to the school system all that shit and just two weeks little vacation and she's gonna talk about that shit so tongue in cheek you know what you know what I needed a little getaway <laughs> yeah I've yeah. been just so stressed <laughs> she's gonna say it's a positive <laughs> yeah I needed a little cleanse you know yeah, I've just, been going crazy on wine these past couple weeks <laughs> and I just need somewhere I can go where I can just kind of clear my head for a couple weeks <laughs> They're going to form some fucking program, like some soul cycle type shit. Jailbirds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just ladies, just enjoy the jailbirds program. It's just a nice little get. Dude, they're going to make we prison do cool. yoga at 630 right as the sun's <laughs> rising. It's beautiful. <laughs> Don't bring anything. You're going to check your clothes in at the door yeah. and it's just going to be, you're going to shower together. It's going to be a community experience. Yeah. It's going to be some fucking, oh my God, dude. <laughs> uh, watch you see you see it's, it's gonna be some fucking bullshit it's gonna be some fucking bullshit i'm just laughing at her like talking to the inmates and she's leaving like i'm gonna miss you guys and they're like fuck you just fuck, suck, suck, suck my i feel like dick. we're just making friends i feel like we're really really getting to know you you know keep going with your art you're great at it okay keep going with that lenny stop stabbing people all right <laughs> 
No, dude, she's going to go one of those fucking Martha Cheese. Stewart prisons. I'm buying weed from you when you get out, all right? <laughs> Cheese. That's his name? Yeah. Cheese? Yeah. I love you guys, all right? I feel like I'm just, I feel like I'm just getting to know you guys. It's such a shame. I mean, it's, it's legal in California, but, you know, it's always fun to do it under the table. <laughs> yeah. Just makes it a little more fun to do it under the table. A little risky, right? You know? That's what you went to jail for in the first place, right? Sexy. Isn't it? exhilarating you know i'll be honest i don't think martha has any reason to complain okay <laughs> this was not that bad i could do a whole year in here honestly it was this was so much fun yeah i'm not going to of course ew, 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 no. you but i mean i could like <laughs> maybe in another life you know maybe i'll send my daughter up here and just like a nice little you know cleanse, yeah. just nice little get yeah a little cleanse little <sighs> so nice not to deal with all the you know ugh, nutheads in my life right now <laughs> All these crazy moms. You wouldn't believe what they do. You know, oh. they're dying. Their dog's pink. I mean, <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. And now I got to go back there. You know, I'll say this, Cheese. You guys are more normal <laughs> than these rich people that I hang out with all the time. <laughs> you all are just so much more level-headed. I just, boy, I wish I could take you all with me. Yeah. I'm going to do something about this. I'm going to try to get you out of here. <laughs> What's that? 25 years. Oh, my God. Oh my God, 25 years. I have no idea how you'd even begin. Oh, and you already did your appeal. Mm. Wow. Well, all right. I have so much respect for you. Yeah. You're going to do great in here. Yeah. You're doing wonderful things. Yeah. Just know that. I got to go. I have a nail appointment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually have work release. Um, I have two weeks in prison, but I only have to be here on the weekends. It's really, <laughs> it's really cool. So I got to go back to running my um, USANA business. Okay. <laughs> So nice chatting. <laughs> so nice getting to know you guys. Here, you can have my food. I wasn't going to eat it anyway. <laughs> I'm, ugh, no way. I've lost so much weight in here. I look amazing. <laughs> I look amazing. Oh my God. I might go get a tattoo. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> I would do it in here with like the little paperclip needle, but ugh, I'd, I'd, you know, yeah, I'm a little scared. No, yeah. Ugh. I, want, I want to do it the, the proper way. Yeah. The right way. <laughs> Listen, I'll have my assistant write you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you know what's going on. Out there in the world. <laughs> Out there in the world, yeah. Oh my God, it's you North know, Korean I, yeah, here. Yeah, I told you about uh, uh, my friend Cindy and her husband with that big investment opportunity. Oh my God. The hotels in the Middle East, I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> or what's up with that. Fucking assholes, man. <laughs> And I don't even want to see any kind of videos from them being like, they paint us like we're horrible. Shut up. Shut up, man. Yeah. You broke the law. The system should work. And you got two fucking weeks. Two weeks in jail. Unreal, bro. That's fucking crazy, man. It that is. really is crazy. It's, it's so wild. Two weeks ends. Um, you know yeah. the vibes. You know the vibes, though. You do know the vibes. Yeah. Takeshi. 6 9 We'll man, see, man. Poor, poor George Rivera, man. His English was not that great, and he's like yelling at this cop, like trying to explain. He's like, the guy, she's six nine. You know, they kidnap him from my car, and the cop is like, uh huh, <laughs> like what? <laughs> like just didn't even believe him. Like just making him out to be like a dumb foreigner, and he's like going through yeah. some seriously intense shit. And he's yeah. trying to explain it. He's like, the rapper Takashi, you know, Takashi six nine. He was in my car. He was just kidnapped. The cop's like, what are you saying? What? Kidnapped. Who? Why did you open the door? <laughs> he was in the car already? How'd you get kidnapped from in the car? You should have locked your doors. <laughs> You're blocking the intersection. Move along. <laughs> Move along. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see how that breaks down. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it pans out. Everybody, we want to thank the very lovely Honey. Uh, Honey, if you don't know, is a free browser extension that saves you money anywhere you shop online uh you've used honey before it's awesome honey's awesome man it just it actually does it, is. just does its shit automatically no yeah. matter what you fucking do you go to the cart and it just apply it just searches for discounts and it finds them all yeah. the time yeah what did i just buy i got a bunch of fucking points for it no it's actually honey is one of the few things where it fucking it does what they say it does straight up works there's no like like there's no fucking bullshit. Yeah. Every time we buy gear, for example, yeah. this new shit, all this fucking new shit we got. Yeah. Honey got a discount on that. <laughs> I hope we're allowed to cuss. <laughs> yeah, we're allowed to cuss. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know this fucking new fucking shit that all we this got. This fucking fucking shit. <laughs> no, it 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 really works. Um uh I yeah, using it for gear, clothes, literally anything. Mm -hmm. Um they, they um 
on average, they save people uh, $126 a year. Um, you know, what is that? 126 bucks. Well, what is that for you? Break that down. What is that for me? $126. What does that mean to Cody? That's like a fucking solid order on Postmates. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> the hell are you eating? Just 14 quarter pounders. Blue, yeah, blue. Oh, okay. <laughs> 400 quarter pounders <laughs> um no nah, i mean 126 bucks that's nice it's yeah. like a free week of groceries something yeah, like that's that. great um so yeah um uh man I, what was i even saying um no it, it it's a great product um check it out uh it's free okay you install it um literally two clicks okay just attaches right to your browser um and if you want to give it a shot start saving you some money uh, you head over to honey.com slash tmg and they'll get you set up um, and yeah, just start saving money. Uh, granted, 126 is the average, but I've saved bigger coin. Mm-hmm. You know, I've I've had large orders, and I've I've seen like 25 percent off, like jaw dropping savings. So jaw dropping. Give that a give that a shout. Drop your damn jaw. Uh, Honey.com slash TMG. Uh, we also wanted. This is an interesting one. All right, this is, is an interesting one because we both yes. Uh, uh, th- two days ago, got a giant box of meat, big old meat, delivered to our houses, mm-hmm. and that was all thanks to Butcher Box. Yes. Now this is particularly appropriate for this podcast, although they were normal size meats. Yeah. Normal to large size meats, I would say. There's a lot of meats. Um, because listen, when it comes to meat, quality matters, but there's more to it than texture and taste. Yes. Uh. Um. It's better for the environment. Yes. It's better for the animal. It is. And it's better for you. Okay. Well, wait, wait. I'm going to do that. <laughs> Can I restart? Restart. Restarting now. Restarting. Wait. A little bit of cap. And go. Now, the next one is interesting, you guys, because we both got a giant box of meat Big delivered to of meat. our doorsteps yeah. a couple of days ago, which is appropriate for a podcast called Tiny Meat Gang. Yes. Uh, however, they were normal to larger sized meats. Yeah. Which is great for eating. It is. Um, That's why. Listen, when it comes to meat, quality matters. There's more to it than texture and taste. High quality, humanely raised meat is important because it's better for the environment, it's better for the animal, and it's better for you. Uh, my favorite cut of meat is filet mignon. Yeah, I mean, I like I like all kinds of meats. I like I like bison. I like red meats. I mm-hmm. like poultry. Yeah. Um, and uh, you, you can get copious amounts of meats through butcher box. Yes. Uh, Butcher Box believes everyone deserves high quality, humanely sourced meat. It was super easy. We just ordered it. Yeah. Say our preferences, and it fucking showed up at our door. Huge box. A huge box of meat. <laughs> seriously. Uh, every month, it ships a curated selection of high quality meat right to your door, and it's all antibiotic free yeah. and uh, and free of added hormones as well. Each mm-hmm. box has nine to eleven pounds of meat, enough for twenty four individual meals. That's crazy. Yep. And you can customize the, the box or go with one of theirs. Either way, it's exactly what you want. And right now, ButcherBox is offering new members ground beef for life. That's two pounds of ground beef in every box for the life of their subscription, plus $20 off their first box. Just go to ButcherBox.com slash TMG or enter promo code TMG at checkout. That's ButcherBox.com slash TMG or enter promo code TMG at checkout. Hor- hormoneless meat. Mm-hmm. So hormoneless. It's, yeah, so it's, it's not horny. <laughs> it's very needs Viagra. Yeah, exactly. That's dumb as hell. Um, hey, while I got you here, you guys. Uh oh. Um, you know we got this new set. We got this. You know we got a, we got Kyle working for us now. You know I feel like this is a good time to ask. Why don't you head over to the iTunes store and just rate us five stars? Just throw up, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Throw, throw up a five star rating. I want to see that number fucking fat. Yeah. I want to see that thing just, grow. Just just fake and. Every time I see artificial. a podcast with like 20,000 reviews, I'm like, damn. Yeah. That's, that's kind of wild. Reviews. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Everyone go leave five star reviews, but leave like, leave random like content that has nothing to do with the podcast. Yeah. Kind of like our idea for our genius review or just maybe general feelings you have. Like yeah. Five stars this podcast. You know, I've been thinking a lot about the construct of, um, you know, ownership and mm-hmm. what that means. Mm-hmm. And just write a nine paragraph thing about ownership. Or better yet, start the review with, I love when they talked about, and then some shit that we didn't talk about ever. <laughs> like some weird, boring shit. Or some groundbreaking shit. Yeah, I loved when they compared lawnmowers and which ones cut yeah. the grass more oh, yeah. efficiently. <laughs> no, here's a real one. Oh, I love their segment about um, vacuums. Um, 
It's really fun listening to two avid vacuum collectors <laughs> and the various kinds of input they have on the different types of vacuums. Yeah, it's really amazing when when they were going through each year of Dyson and how yeah. each vacuum evolved. You know, it's a real thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I believe it. Yeah, yeah. I believe it. I listened. I listened to the the podcast with the maker of Dyson, James Dyson, whatever his name okay. is. <laughs> It's crazy, man. James the, Dyson. I think that was his name. Yeah. The process of inventing the Dyson vacuum was like just fascinating. I mean, he's the Steve Jobs of vacuums. He really is. Those those vacuums are so overpriced. They don't they don't uh No, but they're way better. I he, mean he was the first person to eliminate the need of bags in vacuums. Yeah, well, if you talk to any uh, what you just said right there, they're way better. Any vacuum enthusiast is boiling right now. Why? Um because they are, um, it's like Windows versus Mac. You can get a way faster machine for a fraction of the price. What brands are we talking here? Um, I don't know the brands, dude. Mm. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe like a Shark Vac. Oh, like I was trying it's to funny say. that we're actually talking about vacuums now. Yeah. Yeah. So now you can't use that one. Um, don't use it in the review. <laughs> use something else because we already talked about it. Wait, I actually do know. Oh. Uh, I looked at one brand. Oh, God damn it. Hold on. Hold on. It's coming to me. Hold on. Hold it's on. coming to me. It's coming to me. It's coming to me. Meal. M-I-E-L-E. -E. Yeah, why would you spend your money on a Dyson where you can just get yourself a nice meal? <laughs> meal -A. Meal. I don't know. Whatever. Um, yeah. Okay. Go to, I want you to go leave just a f quick five star review. Yeah, just go go drop us a five star review real quick, please. We'd love it if you did that. Um, <laughs> I want to see that. I want to see that number bulging, Bro, bulging. You know what I was thinking about? What so thinking people about? really like us talking about the relationship advice stuff. Yeah, do you got one today? I always have one. Okay, but what you got I, a good one today though? I mean, yeah, always. Okay. Um, <laughs> but you're saying that like, yeah, I'll find one. No, no, no. I have screenshots. I've like tons okay, okay, of, okay, okay. Um. What I was gonna say was, Reddit gives what's that? I don't I don't know some mm -hmm. website. Okay, it gives you like when you post on relationship advice, but specifically the subreddit that I've never been to. Am I the asshole? Mm -hmm. That gives you a false sense of success, or like winning an argument because you can lose an argument in real life, and then you can bring that argument to the internet, mm -hmm. explain it the way you saw it, and effectively spin it so that you get to win. Yep. And what I'm saying about that is, no, you need to hold the L like the rest of us. Mm -hmm. Okay. We've all had arguments and things where we walk away from it. We're like, I wish I could have fucking, you don't get to go to the internet. That's all Reddit is though. Winning an argument that you lost. Well, it's, just, it's, it's built on like a sense of, uh, like security and validation from strangers because it's I mean, this yeah, whole network true. of like people upvoting your shit. Yeah, you know, I saw and agreeing with you and <laughs> replying to you, and it is true. I'm sorry, I just have to jump in and say I saw the most ridiculous because people are always arguing on Reddit. I saw the most ridiculous fucking thing I've ever seen. Some dude was like, uh, "There's a 74 year old Fortnite player," and he posted. There's a clip of him posted about him like discussing the, the audio bug with Fortnite that it's shitty, whatever. Um, not and so someone goes, oh my God, they leave a comment, they go, STFU, I had no idea. Like basically being like, shut the fuck up, I had no idea he did that, like whatever. And someone goes, STFU, question mark? He's like, yeah, I was saying it like, shut up, man, like <laughs> like a like a no, like get out of here, like, I, I, like I'm in shock. And the guy goes, hmm, never seen it used that way before. <laughs> Typically STFU is reserved for just kind of derogatory, like just shut the fuck up. And the guy's like, like, okay, now I'm going to use it. Yeah, <laughs> like you're saying, shut the fuck up, man. Is was, that better? It was so good. And dude, I just saw like load like ten more replies. <laughs> that, I'm that's like, that's my least favorite thing about Reddit. Not that I go on it, but when <laughs> I do go on it, which is never, that's my least favorite thing is people having like personal private email chains like in the reply thing because it happens all the fucking time. These people arguing about the stupidest <laughs> fucking shit. It's so with good. each other in public. It's just it's like so good. Like what are you doing? <laughs> That's just two people, yeah, just arguing at a train yeah. station about nothing. Yeah, I actually thought Chance's album was pretty good, actually. <laughs> yeah, just Bullshit, man, it was garbage, and you and I both know it. Actually, I don't know it. I love this song from it. You know what? That is a decent song. However, like, it's just like, just fucking jerk each other off. It's so good, man. 
Um, yeah. So I um, let let's see. I I I've had a few ultra. <clears throat> so, you know what we're gonna do? Let's have let's get let's also have Kyle like hit up someone who makes like jingles. Okay. I'm something. I'm sure someone listening to this can probably does this and and would be willing to do it yeah. as well. But make one for the relationship advice. Oh, okay. And, and then, then we'll like have a mini pad right here that we can just, just click in. And it's like relationship advice. advice. Uh, that's the jingle right there. Mm-hmm. Relationship advice. Uh, this one. <laughs> This one is just more funny because it's it's very um, middle like I don't know. Boyfriend wants to come on my boobs every time now. That's it. Okay. And then she goes so on. So he to did say, it once, and now he's like, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> once you pop, can't stop. Yeah. You know? It's like a, well, here's where it gets um, like it's fun, and then this made it really real, and okay. you're like, okay, that's not fun. Okay. <laughs> Recently, my boyfriend came on my boobs during a blowjob. Parentheses without asking. Well, okay. Okay. Why'd you do that, buddy? Did he play it off like it was an accident? Uh, this turned him on a lot as he was very vocal during his orgasm about how much he liked seeing his stuff on my boobs. <laughs> Afterward, I felt very gross and he made me uh, wait with it on while he jacked off. While See, this is... Hold th up. This is assault, bro. Hold up. <laughs> this is just assault. What is this? This is relationship advice. No, no, no. So I'm just confused by what's happening here. So he came now, on her boobs without asking, and he just was said, "Okay, wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it up again and again keep, and, and go again." Yeah, that's fucking bizarre. That's that's. And a, she wasn't she wasn't comfortable with that to begin with. Mm. Um, he orgasmed several more times from this. Several more times. Yeah. Um, this part is just ill timed. Uh. He made a comment about his cum was syrup on my pancakes. <laughs> That's not fair. Really a, a, a breakfast euphemism? Yeah. 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 Why? If I if I'm her, I'm I'm I would have swung on him. You made me wait on my knees to nut on my chest and you didn't even ask, and you're going for multiple times, and you got the audacity. To call my shit pancakes? <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say. I'm a beat his ass. It's kind of insulting. I'm a beat his ass. Yeah. I love your hangy flapjacks. <laughs> I love the way my fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Two-piece right there. I love the way my coconut syrup... I would have... Drizzles down your saggy flapjacks. Bruh, I would have left knee, <laughs> left foot forward, Captain Falcon uppercut him right... No, I would have I hit the dick to the jaw. Just a twofer. Yeah, and then just like... Like shook, shake the jizz off on his face. <laughs> no, how, I mean, do you, no. how do you like it? No, nah, bro, you you uppercut and then he's falling back. Then you then you go for the the double leg. Okay, mm. maybe you get him up against the dresser. Mm -hmm. Right, he he falls. You got him on the ground. Then you you butt scoot him out. Okay, you pull him out, and then you just go into full mount and you go into just a jujitsu top mount like humiliation thing mm -hmm. you just rubbing his own jizz all over his face oh yeah okay you know you're just like putting him in holds and yep you just you're just making it hard he's like ah, I, I. and yeah or he's like um mm, my syrup mm, <laughs> all over mm, my mm, yummy pancake it's so mouth. sweet mm, my yummy denny's mouth mm. <laughs> oh, oh then you just gotta light him up you gotta light him up right there you gotta let him have it <laughs> dude I, that's so weird fucking oh yeah i love the way oh <laughs> yeah I love my hot sauce all over your poached eggs. What? Does does breakfast turn you on? <laughs> First, is that up, what this is? It doesn't even smell like hot sauce. <laughs> First and foremost, um, let's go fucking an IHOP. But it, it was hard to tell if this was a troll, um, because after the pancake comment, this made me feel extremely embarrassed as I have weirdly wide areolas. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, what boy wrote this? Weirdly wide. What woman describes their areolas that way? As weirdly wide? Yeah. What is weirdly wide? That's what I'm saying. How wide is weirdly wide? Yeah. They could be skinny. Yeah. What was it? What, yeah. Was it, does it look like Pangea? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Weirdly wide. Hmm. Interesting. Now I have a little bit something to tell you for going home tonight. Um, <laughs> I have weirdly wide areolas. Like they're Like they're wide? Weirdly. Well, they're weirdly. <laughs> weirdly wide sounds like a 90s like MTV show. <laughs> Yo, what up? Welcome back to Weirdly Wide. We're looking at a weirdly wide things. Or it sounds like a TLC show. Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah, true. Yeah. 
Yeah, some fucking um, some show about like uh, trailer homes. Yeah. Welcome back to Weirdly Wide. We're out here in Des Moines, Iowa, with mm-hmm. David and his three thousand square foot, two by one thousand trailer. <laughs> two by one thousand. Yep. So that's measured in meters. So it's only about two meters wide. But it's a thousand meters long, and I just love it. I just love living in a big hallway, big racetrack. Yeah, it's like a you know, it's just very straight. You know, I love running up and down it. Yeah, it's just you know, as fast um, as I can. And then all I just the way down. And then I just pass out. I'm retired. So that's really all I do all day mm-hmm. is I just run back and forth. Mm-hmm. And uh, just, it's real annoying actually because my TV's on one side, my fridge is on the other side. Yeah. So every time I have to get up and get a beer, I have to walk a full kilometer back to the fridge over there. So it's actually not that great. Wow, that's weirdly wide. It is weirdly <laughs> wide. <laughs> yeah, it is weirdly wide. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, well, some folks call it strange. I just call it home. (laughs) I just all I've ever known. I just I got inherited this property from my grandpappy, and I just figured, well, everybody's house is all big and (laughs) complicated with multiple rooms. What if everything could just be straight down the middle? Mm -hmm. I really think that's what's wrong with America. See, we don't have any, and that's our segment. And that's our segment. (laughs) Thank you for watching Weirdly Wide. Check in with us next week when we interview Justin, who has an eight-inch taint. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, this bowling ball, uh, it could actually fit in a gutter drain. You can actually roll it right into a gutter drain. It's nice and wide, but it's thin. Oh, man. Anyways, what's Um, the next one? um, Or was there more comments on that one? Uh, well, the top comment was just tell me you prefer your pancakes dry. <laughs> so who pref- who prefers their pancakes dry though? In reality, that's yeah. not a very good comeback no. because he would just say that he would say, "Oh, yo, yeah, yeah." Do they? Who do you know that eats pancakes without syrup? <laughs> She's Janet. like me, motherfucker. <laughs> that she beats his ass. Yeah. <laughs> um, this one I I couldn't. I don't even know if this was real. Guy I've been seeing wants me to call him senpai during sex. I can't even believe that. Why not? I can't even believe it. Why that. not? That's so fucking believable. Okay. All right. That's like anime shit, right? I mean, yeah. Senpai noticed me. That's like the biggest meme, bro. Yeah, but people are so obsessed with anime. How how, how could you even but doubt that? that? But, but senpai is like, that's just like a Japanese, like it's like, a, it's just a meme. Like senpai noticed me on Reddit of all places. A guy wants me to call him senpai during sex. <laughs> that is yeah, but they don't they actually say that shit in anime and stuff like that. That's why it's a meme. Um, or no, no, that's like some like making fun of like weeaboos and stuff. Mm, some weeb shit. Senpai noticed me. Yeah, maybe he's a yeah. Maybe he's a weeb. Yeah. <laughs> what do the comments say? Um, recently been hanging out. Uh, senpai in the sack. He's an ultra weeb. Uh, I'm not objecting to it at all because it fits because it's perfectly normal and everything everyone's got some weird kinks including me <laughs> she's like it's just get really hard to say it through my fursuit I just can't <laughs> I just can't get the words out uh, the thing is I try it, I try to do it it just doesn't really <clears throat> she's in there send by <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you babe can we just do this without the <laughs> please, fursuit please one time one time um the thing is, even in a non-sexual environment, I cannot say the word senpai without cracking the fuck up, much less while I'm getting funky. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to get over this. Or this is dr- definitely not a troll. You think? That's like too honest. Yeah, it's true. Saying you laugh every time? That's yeah. like an honest fucking problem. Yeah. You know? It's like, I, I, I want to say this shit sexy for the person, but I can't. I just bust up laughing every time. <laughs> Wait. I'm not over here looking at the bottom feeders. I'm sorry. Let's go to this one. <laughs> This one's crazy. I, 25 female, caught my husband, male 26, in a weird position with his twin, male 26. <laughs> this one is a fucking roller coaster, dude. What? I could not believe this. <laughs> okay, okay. I could not believe, like, my jaw hit the fucking floor. My husband of four years and his twin have always been oddly close, and my husband has been forthcoming about his bisexuality. However, we have always agreed that we would 100% be faithful in the relationship i left work sick today when i came home i saw my husband's truck was still sitting in the parking spot uh when i got through the door i could hear grunting 
So I threw our bedroom door open, expecting to find him with a woman. What I saw was a hard, it was hard to explain, but he and his twin were both standing up, fully erect, and holding their own venuses, and their other hands were grasping each other's forearms as they were pumping each other off. (laughs) So he's holding, and then they're, you know what I'm saying? So it's... Oh my god! Yeah. It's like a fucking Rube Goldberg machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just fucking... They're just fucking... <laughs> We've invented perpetual motion. <laughs> How did no one try this before? <laughs> just the Wright brothers. We have an invention we like to call the aeroplane. And they both take their positions on the motor. Yeah. Holy shit, that's so funny. So wait, so wait, so wait. <laughs> um, also pumping each other off <laughs> the most bodybuilder way to say it dude that's such like a fucking like hacky workaround to like not cheating yeah yeah <laughs> just grab my arm while I it's me jerking me <laughs> off but if you're my arm then it's still like you're kind of doing it but you're not it's not like cheating just fucking dude logic to the fullest oh yeah, yeah. no it's like dude, that's like the epitome of like it's not gay bro yeah it's not. It's not. It's just me. I, it's like I'm jerking off. <laughs> it's just like who who cares like what's making me do that? It would be it would be through and through if their eyes were closed. Yeah. With like headphones on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um he tried to explain that they were just doing it as a goof and it <laughs> wasn't cheating. A goof? What the fuck kind of goof is that? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> They're just both hysterically laughing at each other as they're doing it. <laughs> Dude, why are we doing this, bro? This is so crazy. Well, no, he he got super glue. <laughs> he got super glue on his hand, and then he grabbed my forearm, and he couldn't get it off. And I was like, oh, dude, what if I grab my dick? And he was like, oh, no, that'd be terrible. So I grabbed Don't it. Don't do it. Uh, and then oh, he, doing it? he squirted super glue on my hand, yeah. and then it fell in his hand, and then we just got into it, and then it was just became like a little bit of a... Uh, kind of a goof. It's like, who can finish first? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I honestly a don't, goof. She says, Surprise! <laughs> Isn't this funny? Babe, come on! Isn't this funny? Come on! Isn't this funny? <laughs> come on! Why aren't you saying anything? Isn't this funny? Come on! <laughs> it's oh, it's babe. It's just a goof. Come on! Isn't it funny? Look it! Look it! We're pumping each other off. How? Pump. It's just a joke, babe. Come on! Oh, she's not getting it. She's not getting it, Chris. This is just, they're just, it's the property brothers. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's just a little game we play before we make over the house. <laughs> Cindy, you're making it weird. It's a goof. We've done this since we were three years old. It's not weird. You're making it weird. It's not like we were going to come or anything. <laughs> oh, get your fucking mind out of the gutter. <laughs> what are the property brothers' names? I don't even know. I don't know. Yeah. So, um, what did what did people say to that one? Well, his text messages did not make it any better. One of them even said he wanted to bring his twin into a three way, but his brother thought I was unattractive. Oh, what? Fucking god! The people that get themselves in these situations. Like, granted, I guess they are fucking stupid because they shouldn't be doing this shit anyways, you know? So it shouldn't be any surprise that they are so bad at dealing with it afterwards. What the fuck is that? I do want to bang my brother, but he thinks you're ugly, so. But it's, so that's fine, right, babe? So it's never going to happen. So you don't have nothing to worry about. You're See? too ugly for my twin brother. <laughs> to three-way with us. To want to bang you. And so I, it's never going to happen. So I have to jerk him off. Yeah, you don't have to, and you don't have to be anywhere near us when this is happening. Yeah, and you don't, uh, frankly, you should be, you should be happy about it. Yeah. Because he's a, he's a real monster. Yeah. He's really hard to deal with in the bed. And yeah, he's, he's a beast in the sack. <laughs> and you've, I mean, I know you, come on, I know you, you give up pretty easily. 
I think really if there's only one who could really handle my brother, it's probably me. It's me. And you know what? I will I will do it. I will take this off your hands and I will be the one to pump my brother off. Uh, how well? I mean, if, babe, we don't do this. <laughs> He's not going to be there to renew our vows. <laughs> he absolutely will not best man for me if I don't do this for him. Now you're going to make it a family thing. You're going to get my parents involved. Just let me handle this. Twins have a weird have a weird connection. <laughs> yeah. They do. I'm always jacking off my twin. Yeah, Any, dude. Anyone, um, uh, anyone with a twin. Not only is that is that cheating, but it's also like incest. It's it's not kinda like it is. Yeah. Did you say kinda or no? Did I imagine you said kinda? Might have said it. I don't know. Oh, well, right. it's kinda incest in the way it's like <laughs> it's like kind of you that you're jerking off a little bit. <laughs> Like, you know, like 20% of it is like you're jerk, you're kind of jerking off, just masturbating. <laughs> Babe, we're, this, a- we're technically the same, <laughs> so we're pleasuring ourselves. Did you see how that works? And you, what do you, you're, you want to tell me you're shaming masturbation right now, babe? I'm is jack- that what you want to tell me? It's healthy to masturbate. <laughs> I'm literally jacking myself off. <laughs> we're the same sperm, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I could fuck him. It would just be like fucking myself. You know what? That's they could, you know that's like that's more fucking reasonable of an explanation than it was a goof. Then it was a goof, or oh, it, don't worry about it. He, you're too ugly for him to want to fuck you. Why not just any other? Re- All right, we took shrooms. Okay, I'm sorry, <laughs> and we both thought each other was ourself. That's what happened. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, you sh- you sh- so f- it's so funny this is basically like me just looking in the mirror and cranking <laughs> off it's not weird it's not weird we used to play this game where we'd stand in front of each other and <laughs> you know like mirror each other and then we'd kiss and it was like kissing myself <laughs> what, am I, what am I supposed to do I think I'm a great guy every time I look in the mirror I think I'm a great guy <laughs> what do you think I'm gonna do when I look at my own twin Okay. And they're doing the, the yeah. same shit at the same yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Saying the same shit at the same time. Making the same hand gestures. Hand gestures. So, so what do you, what what do you think, think is going to happen, gonna happen when, I when I see myself in the in mirror? mirror I'm going to crank, crank off. off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Twin cest. <laughs> Twin cest peaks. It's a show about two twins keep <laughs> jerking each other off with blindfolds in the mountains, and people keep trying to figure out where they keep doing it to make them stop. Those goddamn twins are out there jerking each other off again. We have to stop this. Fucking twin cest. Um. Yeah. That's um. That's that's incest. It's twin cest. It's not quite incest. <laughs> that's not incest. That's twin cest. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, wow. that's really funny. Now that's what I call twin cest. <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny. Hundreds of tracks for you to jerk off your twin brother to. <laughs> Let's chat about this uh, uh this potential rename of the Miami What stadium was it? Here it is. I'll pull it up right now. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. this was the um okay, yes, yeah, so we get this. This was reported on Yahoo Sports. Yahoo. They said that uh a porn company We keep going has made a $10 million bid to name the Miami Heat Arena the Bang Bros Center, a.k.a. the BBC. <laughs> Dude, that's so fucking funny, man. I mean, $10 million, though. You gotta think, like, it was a joke, clearly. That definitely had to be a joke. Okay, because well, how, how much does it cost to sponsor a fucking sports stadium? Dude, Hundreds of millions of dollars? $200 million. Think about who sponsors stadiums. U.S. Bank. Chase Bank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's probably more than that even. This is the US Army Stadium. That's so funny, the BBC. Yeah. Would be would be pretty fucking dope if they did that. Oh yeah, would be legendary. Just fucking a dude walking around with the instead of like slushies, he's like DVDs, DVDs. <laughs> Get your DVDs. <laughs> he's just peddling porn DVDs. <laughs> Yo, you got any, um, I don't even know what porn stars, you, you don't need porn stars? No, don't know any. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a single one. I think that's one of my favorite, 
That's one of my favorite <laughs> moments in our entire history of recording this podcast. <laughs> when you called yourself out. <laughs> like this is this is me pretending I don't know any porn stars. That's what this is. Bro, speaking of porn, I watched fucking Euphoria, the first episode. Yeah. That shit's crazy. It's a horny ass show. It's crazy. It, the the way it, come on, cinematography? Really, really, really nice. Genius. Shot really, yeah, it's really cool. Some of the shots I was like, damn. Like Just there was wait. one specifically where they shot it for at the party when the one kid is like going crazy in the kitchen or whatever, and they yep. shot it from outside. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that shot really <clears throat> was like, whoa, that's really cool. I don't know why. Just wait, bro. They they do so much crazy ass shit on that show. Really? Yeah. Um, I'm fucking. I'm gonna forget the cinematographer's name. I don't know. I fucking why I did this, but he just man crazy ideas hmm. they um yeah you should after you watch the show you should watch some of the bts on how they shot some of that stuff yeah it's insane the technicals on <clears> that are just <throat> i like it because it's like it's definitely intentionally exaggerated do you see what i mean how yes. it's like a weird world where like all like the darkest shit in a teenager's current like a modern teenager's life like it all yes meshes yes. into yeah one. yeah it kind of is like this yeah it's like it's not fantasy but it, it it's it's all based in reality, but everything is is heightened yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, and uh, which I think is like cool. Like even the dialogue, some of the dialogue is fucking corny, but it's like no, it would be like that in in wherever this is. Yeah, and it, I mean, you know, it's it's cool in the sense that like, uh, I I feel like they have appropriately captured some of those motions that people go through. Mm -hmm. Like it's it, like it's effective storytelling. Like you really feel it. Like when <clears throat> these people are having like anxiety or like there's like later scenes like in the show that I don't want to spoil, but like certain people are like in the club and like they're really fucked up. And like this is like one of the few times where I saw it and I'm like, this is actually I think what it feels like. This is pretty close to like when you're really fucked up somewhere. Oh yeah. Like like they nail it. Oh yeah. And so um, <clears throat> I think you know people had issue with the fact that. They kind of Hollywood some of the experience, but, um, or even in the beginning when, when she's going through her like life story, mm -hmm. and it it's tough to like make someone believe how fucked up someone is from like a twenty minute segment, a yeah. montage of their upbringing, right? But like the one when she was counting the ceiling tiles or whatever, yeah. she's counting the lights and like crying, such a great way to like show how like tortured she was, yeah, growing up, you know. Yeah. I was like, that's fucking great. It's really believable. I think there's certain people, you know, who like have some of those experiences and like have gone through addiction and stuff. Like I think what they didn't appreciate about the show is that like for them it's it's not like cool, sexy camera movements when they're like addicted to fucking opiates and shit. It's like dark and it's like really painful yeah. um to watch. So like I understand why people have gone through shit like watch that and they go, Ugh, like you're just you're you're just like commercializing like this really horrible thing that happened to me and like happens to plenty of other people and you make it seem sexy and it's not but yeah but at the same time I totally agree but at the same time like they do kind of make her out at least in the first episode they do kind of successfully make her out to like be not someone you envy no no I, I, like I, I get I get it she's attractive and she she does kind of walk around like she's this cool girl and you're like oh man I want to be addicted to coke yeah like, no that's so I, cool but at the same time it's like she's a fucking zombie yeah the whole thing yeah I, I she's got no personality she's just like <clears throat> you know so there's there really isn't that many redeemable things so I don't think they're like glorifying it as much as no I I I, I kind of agree with that as well and I, I think like they um they she never has like a moment where she get like she gets to deliver like the comeuppance like she never has like she never makes sort of like a, a move that's like yeah she got him it always seems like she's losing yeah like and 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 she just can't like she's really struggling to get it together so like i don't know um granted i haven't watched it all the way through i've just mm -hmm. like watched significant portions of it i want to go back and watch it um but obviously time yeah but yeah it's cool though Maybe I'll I'll rewatch it and then we'll have like a real deep dive. Yeah, we can have a real deep combo about Euphoria. Yeah, yeah, but I think you know I I I think in terms of like cinematography and as a show, um, I like it because I think it is progressive. I think they, apart from like society stuff, I mean, like even the way like it's delivered, you know, it's 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 shot and presented in a way that you just I don't feel like you get with a lot of shows, and it's not that every show can be like a crazy like. 10 hour music video mm -hmm. but you know 
the cookie cutter shit. I'm over it, son. I'm over it. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm over it. I'm over it. Yeah, I feel that. What what we got coming up? Um, uh, Vegas. We're going to Vegas. Oh yeah, we're right. <laughs> oh yeah, we're right. Right. I forgot about that. <laughs> we're doing a show in Vegas that we announced like last week. Yeah. And it's never really the, talked about it. Yeah, not really. Um, Basically, we were at this. No, did we talk about it last time? Not really. We were supposed to. We were slated to perform at the Metarama Festival in Vegas mm -hmm, with Ninja. With which Ninja. I'm really disappointed about. I mean, now we don't get to meet him. I know. But we. Uh, it got canceled, and so yeah. now we just had a date in Vegas where we were supposed to be there, but nothing to do. So they, we booked a show at the, uh, some theater at the Palms. Yeah, it's at the Palms, and um, it should be it should be really fun. Yeah. So if you're in Vegas, come through. Yeah, I mean, like a lot of folks from Vegas say, no one ever, no, you guys never come to Vegas. No one ever comes to Vegas. Well, we're coming. So fucking show up. Yeah, don't don't bullshit us, okay? We, we routed to Vegas. And we're coming there for you. So don't all of a sudden be like, oh, I have a headache. I can't. Oh, I got to play Fortnite with my boys. Oh, I feel like getting fucked up. Uh -huh. I don't, I don't want to go to the strip. I'm 23. I'm just such an adult. Now, shut up. Come to the fucking strip. Pull up to the strip. We're going to we're gonna go gambling afterwards. Yeah, we're going to go the fuck off. Mm-hmm. That craps. actually would would be. I'm taking a crap and then I'm gonna go play craps. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I actually have a very um. <laughs> I have I have a special place in my heart for the steak and eggs breakfast at the Palms. Really? Yeah. Why? I went there for New Year's one year, and um, it was seven dollars. <laughs> wow. And it's probably um, it's probably shitty food, mm -hmm. but at the time, it was delicious. Did you get syrup all over your steak and eggs? Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. I was broke as fuck, and I didn't know you could get steak and eggs for $7. That's sick. I could go for some steak and eggs right now. Right about now. I'm hungry. Yeah, same. I haven't eaten. I might go back and fuck up that butcher box. Oh, yeah? Just the whole thing? I might just go back just and raw? fuck it up. Just eat it. Yeah, just blood streaming down my mouth. <laughs> I Seriously, I couldn't believe it when a bucket of fucking meat showed up. It's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dang! Look at that meat bucket. That's what I like. Look at meat. That's what I call ass cheeks. That's what I call my mom's ass cheeks. Meat bucket. Mama, I love your meat bucket. I love your meat buckets, mama. <laughs> oh, mama, she got her. Daddy, go, 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 pull down mama's apron. She got her meat bucket hanging out. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. <laughs> oh, yes, sweaty mom hams. David say he won't jerk me off. He's tired of looking at himself. So, uh, <laughs> gotta move on to mommy's sweet ham. <laughs> I got a DM that said, please stop saying mommy sweet ham. <laughs> Why? We're just going to say What it. do you want from us? <laughs> that shit's funny. Mo <laughs> hey, oh yeah, by the way, from here on out, for bone, for bone episodes, we're doing fake commercials. So if we find a jingle guy, okay. we're going to give him fake jingles to write. Yeah, okay. That's da -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Hey there, cheese dick. <laughs> Walking around with those messy STDs. <laughs> Head on down to the free clinic. Let's get you poked up and popped out. <laughs> Come down to the free, free clinic. Yeah. And get your cheese dick fixed. Cheese dick fixed. Yeah. I like that. Get Once, your dick fixed. Get your dick. <laughs> don't. I like don't, that. Don't. No, that makes sense. <laughs> I thought you were going to say uh, one of our other friendly sponsors. Let's get one more. Damn it. Maybe we could do a mama's sweet ham jingle. Yeah. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> it's all the McDonald's. Yeah, no, take money. it away. Make you got to make one now. Mommy's sweet ham. Sweet ham. I love when my mom cuts off me a nice piece of her pork chops. <laughs> Nothing goes better than Mama's pork chops with a sweet glass of <laughs> diet cola. <laughs> Tap in now and get your clip out this coupon and. Head on down to the local racetrack and get a slice of mommy's sweet ham. Because, <laughs> God damn it, you know God loves a nice piece of mommy's ass. Uh, so, yeah, if you make jingles, <laughs> hit us with those ones. There you go. Mommy's sweet ass. I love when she cuts me off a piece of her pork chops. I love you, mommy, and your sweet ham. Mommy got those hams. <laughs> 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 oh shit well ladies and gentlemen 
Thanks for tuning in. Um, let us know what you think about the new set. Let us know what you think about the new camera, about the new lights. Yeah, about all. I can't wait for it. Go back to the shitty camera that turns off every thirty minutes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. Be nice to Kyle. Uh. Yeah. We're honestly. I'm excited. I think we're both very excited. Um. We're gonna have someone come through, make the lights even sexier, and uh, it's gonna be great. So. Mommy sweet hams. Mommy sweet hams. Come on down to Vaughn's for mommy's sweet hands. <laughs> Peace. Peace. This shit's still. Is this thing on?